So this is the second video on isometric drawing. And in this video, we are going to look at some of the techniques that we can use to help us construct our isometric drawings. So let's get stuck straight into it. Um, over here on the left, you can see we have an orthogonal drawing. Now from the bottom view, you can see that uh, this shape is 10 mil in thickness. And then from this front view here, we can see that it is um, 50 mil uh, wide and it has this uh, 20 mil by 20 mil square cut out in the top left hand corner. And then we have this diagonal cut running along the right hand top right hand corner and we also have this hole in the middle and it is of a diameter of 10 mil and the center of it is located 20 mil from the right hand ledge edge and 10 mil up from that bottom edge so to start our isometric drawing it is um easiest to draw everything as blocks so square or rectangular blocks so to do that i'm just going to draw around on this orthogonal drawing I'm just going to draw draw a box around here like that and then we can transfer this straight onto our isometric grid so we're gonna just draw from this point here and it is gonna be 50 mil in this direction and to the side so I've decided that each one of these lines here is gonna be 5 so Got 50 mil here, and now we are 40 mil high. So just draw it up here. So 40 mil high, and then we draw this right hand edge here. You can connect that on this line here, and it's uh, 10 mil deep. So there we have our base rectangle, rectangular prism. Now we're going to then cut away the elements we want from this. So this 20 mil by 20 mil square cut out that is in the top left hand corner, we can measure that out. So change color and so if we start from this corner here and we come down and we hit 20 mil down here and we draw along 20 mil in and across like that and then we just finish it across here And we get that uh, square cut out there. Now, the next point we want to look at is this uh, diagonal line that is coming across here on this orthogonal drawing. Now, we can't just measure this line and move it across because of the diagonal. It's not going to come across as that length on our uh, isometric grid. So we're going to just mark this point here which is um, well, it doesn't show it should be um, in line with this line here so I'm just going to come across and mark that point there we've got this point up here 
and then we can just connect those two points on our isometric grid with a straight line like so and then we can just add our 10 mil of depth so we come draw that there and draw between this point here and this point here and we end up with that there so now we can uh, finish off our shape so this finish it off add everything in then we can get rid of our blue construction lines and we end up with this shape here now all that's left for us to do is add in our hole uh, this can be a bit tricky so we're going to go to a separate page and look at how we draw circles isometrically. So we are now just going to have a look at how we go about drawing an isometric circle. So we've got a circle here that is drawn orthogonally on the left hand side. Now to start this we will draw our box around it again. So. draw that around it. So I'm going to start by transferring that box straight onto our isometric grid. Like so. So that's the starting point for us there. Now if we look back at our circle and see at the center point of each edge, so here, 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 and here, uh, the circle and the box are tangent. So these are points that we can make use of over on our isometric grid. And then if we also draw a diagonal across the box, we can see that at each point where the diagonal and the circle intersect, so like here, there, that they intersect at a right angle. So these are the points we are going to use to help us construct our circle in the isometric plane. So if I start by just marking in where all the tangent points will be of our circle, so here, 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 and here, and then we can draw our diagonal lines across like so. And now all it is is a matter of connecting between the points. So if we start with the tangent up on this top edge here come down, cross at right angles, and end up tangent again there. We can do this on that other edge, cross right angles, tangent, and then on this top corner here, start at tangent, cross at right angle, come in, tangent, right angle. And as you can see, what we end up with is actually an ellipse with a major axis running along this direction, minor axis running along this direction. Now, just another point, if the circle we're drawing is quite large and takes up uh, a much bigger space where you might want a few more points to make sure you get that shape right, what you can do is uh, pick up points. So if we go back to our orthogonal uh, drawing. If I draw just like a square here in this corner here where that's a length L and that's a length L, we could then come onto our isometric grid and draw that similar square like that and make up a lot of little blocks to 
to show where each of our points will be. So that would be L there, and that will be L there. So that's how you might go about if you needed to draw a much bigger circle. Okay, so we've now come back to our drawing from before, and we're now going to draw that hole that we have here. So, to begin with, let's draw our box around on here. We've got that box, and now we'll move that box across onto our isometric drawing. So, come in in the center of that, so there. So that's our box. Now we have a tangent point here, 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 here. And if draw those diagonal lines and now we'll just draw our circle. So tangent, tangent, right angle, tangent, right angle, tangent. that there. So, now if we just remove all our construction points, just fill those back. We there have our circle like so. Now, what we want to add is the other side since that's a hole so you should be able to see through some of that hole so what you could do is you could move backwards and draw on this square here and draw another circle to see what you could see or a quicker way is we know the thickness that we're dealing with so if we just draw from here and we draw straight through, straight through, straight through like that. But as we can see, we wouldn't actually pick up any of the other side. If it was, say, 5 mil thick, we probably would. And what you'd end up seeing would be something like that, where that would be the other side in this point here. But we can't actually see that from our view. So we'll get rid of that. So there you have it. That is an isometric drawing of our orthogonal drawings over here on the left. So just one final thing on our isometric drawing here. And that's the view that I've taken to draw this on. Now, it hasn't actually, I haven't actually specified which uh, where I'm taking the drawing from. So if we look at our orthogonal projections, we could probably say that I was drawing from up around, looking up from this point here that I've just drawn. Now, because I haven't actually specified where I wanted to draw from, we could have drawn this from a couple of different angles. So it could have ended up being something like have something like this because I didn't actually specify where I wanted to have my drawing from. So that other view would probably be from on our orthogonal projection, be probably taken from where this red dot here is, so up sort of from this point here. So that concludes our videos on isometric drawing and thanks for watching.